So they are finally ready. They are in the store now. They're set up as a left and a right. You can now put your S2000 logo back on your car and get it absolutely perfect. So passenger side and driver side, no more guessing, no more crooked emblems. We even sell the factory emblems in the store. We have them in the chrome as well as the black CR. We're gonna sell them in a set or sell these separate. These are the ones that we've used to R&D this, to perfect this. Now we have these so they fit absolutely perfect. This is the jigsaw puzzle that we've been waiting for. It is tight on the letters. The letters don't have any room to move. It fits nice on the light. So that is the driver side. Now we're gonna have these in either blue or white. We have both colors here. We've done some testing on these cars. So this is what's interesting. We've tested these on a few cars just to make sure they fit how they should do. And this car doesn't have paint and we just tried it on another car that didn't have paint so we can verify the letters are in the right spot. So what we have done is to make sure they're 100%. These are scanned from these cars and then obviously cleaned up on a computer and all the measurements have been reversed for the other side but for the other side they are slightly different let me show you so again this car hasn't had paint when you look at this at a visual this s rather than being exactly in the middle of this light it's actually towards the bottom and the other car has the same thing and it's a 40,000 mile car this one has 22. well when you put this on here and lock it on that light the letters show to be slightly lower that won't clip on all the way unless I bend it but it's not far off but the letters are slightly lower so I'm thinking what happened is when they put these on in the factory the fixture that they used to put them on is off just a hair can you see that if you line up that s2000 it's almost level with the bottom of that light and the other car is the exact same way so even from the factory they're off a little bit and we verified these when we put them on the computer the s2000 in relation to that light is literally centered and the space in between the s and the 2000 is correct now we did notice on a couple of ap1s on this side the space in between the last letter and the light is closer it's actually 15 millimeters apart where this is further apart you see so what we've decided Hopefully you guys agree with us. Rather than making the passenger side one slightly crooked like two of these cars, I want to test it on one more car too. I've got a friend with a really low mileage car that's had since new. We can verify it's not had paint. We're going to make them digitally correct. So this is the exact mirror of the other side. So this S is going to fit. The spacing is going to be correct, but it's going to be in the middle of this light like the fixture. Because I think it's going to look better. And we're going to make the AP2s the same as the AP1s. Because visually, we want it right. We want to make it where you put this on the car and then snap the letters through it. So that angle there is going to sit on this light. Once you put that on there, I mean, it fits money. We want to make sure this is exactly right. Once that is on there, you'll put some tape on the other end so this doesn't move. Then what you're gonna do is if you buy new letters, they come like this in this foam and they come with some tape on the top and it's a little bit tricky how to get these in. This angle here is not always correct. As you see, this one is cut slightly off and that will throw you off. Now also the S, when you take it off this, it kind of looks symmetrical until you look at it on the car or put it in our fixture and there is an up and a down. But when you remove this, so many body shops put it on wrong. So there is a left and a right. You can see once the logo is correct facing you, you know it's the right way around. Now this over here is the driver side, as you see right there with the light and the S. There is a slight contour on this. It's ever so gradual and it does match the fender. It's kind of hard to pick this up. If you have an AP1, this space in here from the factory will be slightly different. Exactly, we don't want to have one slightly off because I do believe the factory has these badges off. We are going to offer the emblems in the store as well as the fixtures. So this is the factory S and this is the factory 2000. They come separate, which Honda used to include them in one piece, which was better because it used to come joined. But even now where they cut them, 
they don't line up perfect and it's it's a bit of a fixture but it's still not quite right so this is what they come like it comes with some masking tip across here but basically you're going to take this portion off this is basically your how-to you're going to remove this red right here which is the backing from the double side tape so just for this demonstration i'm not going to remove this and stick them down because these are kind of expensive emblems and i don't want to ruin them so what i'm going to do is kind of cut that tape okay so for the installation you're going to place this over your side marker it's going to fit on there pretty tight and then what i would do is make sure the surface is clean obviously before you put it on and then you're going to tape use some masking tape you're going to tape this to the fender i would do both sides just so it doesn't move obviously that will be locked on your light it's not going to move but just to make sure the fixture is correct make sure it sits flat against your fender then of course i've just trimmed the tape around here but you're going to remove it this is going to fit on here you can't really mess this up obviously the 2000 when it goes one way around you're going to line that up there and push it down then with the s it's only going to go in one way but just look at it make sure you do it right put that in there same thing you're going to push this down until it's bottom down make sure it's clean i would use like a degreaser of some kind like a, like an alcohol pad or something like that i wouldn't ceramic coat it before you put these letters on ceramic coating gives it such a slick finish even 3m tape will often fall off so make sure it's clean doesn't have ceramic on it put your letters on remove the emblem decal holder and then your letters are going to be in the correct place there you go you're done your letters are now perfect and they no longer look crooked and they don't look like a body shop did it and they don't look like this or even this we've seen it all it's crazy i did take a few pits of it but i decided not to save them because i don't want to embarrass anybody but there you go you can buy the letters in the store we have them in chrome we have the CR1s in black, and they're going to come with the templates, and then we're going to sell the templates separately. So if you end up buying these letters, and you look at these, and it looks like somebody butchered it, like here with a pair of scissors, that was just me cutting that little tab off there. They're still fine. You'll still be able to remove this right here and put them on. I'll throw something extra in there if you receive these, because I used your letters as a demo, but they are brand new. See you in the next video. Check out the LHT store. You'll be able to see these parts as well as everything else we sell. Thanks for watching.